Hey everyone, happy new year. This video will cover changes from Git Kraken Desktop 11.8 and 11.7. And I think you'll find that we have been combining power user feature requests with some performance upgrades and some smarter defaults. So let me show you around what's new in the app. So some of you might've seen this one already, but we have rolled out ARM builds for Windows, Linux, and we already had it for Mac. If you're running Git Kraken Desktop and the app detects a chip mismatch, we will give you a little nudge here in the notifications that a new ARM uh, build is available. So you can click that link to follow it. Otherwise, you can always navigate to gitkraken.com slash download and check out the ARM builds that we have for Windows. Uh, we already have one, of course, for Mac, and then of course the ones for Linux. So give this a try, you should see immediate performance boosts uh, if you are someone who's running uh, a machine with ARM architecture. You should notice a nice boost when you run the ARM version of Git Kraken Desktop. All right, next up. In 11.6, we introduced the ability to open a repo that has been, uh, that you performed a shallow, cl a shallow clone of. Well, in 11.8, you get the ability to perform shallow clones directly inside of Gitcrack and Desktop. So here I have a new tab open and I'm gonna click the clone button and sure enough, I see a little checkbox that I can select to perform a shallow clone of this repo. And here's where you can define the branch you wish to clone, how deep you wish to go, if you wanna set up a cutoff date or if you want to apply any flags that you would normally apply when performing the git clone uh, action in the CLI. So I'm ready to go, let's hit clone the repo. It's performing a shallow clone, I'm going 25 deep on main, looks like it's good. Let's see Electron, and sure enough, here it is. Here's a shallow clone of the Electron repository. All right, for this next one, we powered up the undo button. So previously in Gitkraken Desktop, you could not undo a rebase, but with 11.8, you now have the ability to perform a rebase, realize that you didn't mean to do that, and now you can hit the undo button to go directly back to where you were before. So if you run into a rebase, an interactive rebase, a cherry pick, or even a commit composition that didn't quite go the way you were expecting, use the undo button to go back to a previous state. For this next one, many users may not realize that they can click uh, to edit a file when viewing the diff. So that's this button here in the top left. And when you are viewing a markdown file with 11.8, you get the ability to preview that markdown inside of Gitkraken Desktop. There's lots of MD files floating around these days, so the next time you run into one, feel free to try this out inside of Gitkraken Desktop. And then lastly, Gitkraken AI just got more useful. When you see a branch, right-click on that branch to access the new Explain Branch Changes. Aha, uh -huh. so I'm gonna click this option, and what this will do is it'll select all the commits on that branch, and I will receive an explanation of the changes and the impact that that's had on this repo. I love this because it saves me from performing a multi-select manually and then getting that explanation from Gitkraken AI. It's a great way to um, get some information on any branch that you see either in the commit graph or also in the left panel. Pretty cool. All right, some applause for the Gitkraken dev team. I think they delivered an excellent release, making the app feel smoother, safer, and even a little bit smarter. So from all of us at Gitkraken, we hope you stay legendary.